Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you in the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. This is episode 125. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. <laughs> Very special guest in the building. When I tell y'all a little backstory on him before I let him introduce himself to the audience, when I tell people that you have to do homework on these situations, before I had the name of my podcast, I had 25 guests and two radio stations lined up. This is one of the gentlemen who was one of the radio stations that I had lined up. Introduce yourself to the audience. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? This is KC, uh, host of the Kicking with KC show, also uh, on the XY Radio. Find us online at xyradio.com and the XY Radio Music app. But yeah, that's me. Let me start off by saying thank you, because like I said, before I even had a name, before I even had the name of How to Hustle or Instagram page, you was one of the people who said, yeah, you can put your stuff on our station. That ain't no problem. Uh, yeah. Our relationship goes back, uh, I don't know, maybe four or five years now. Oh, yeah. Um, time flies, bro. Yeah, I tell people I've been doing this a long time. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, I want to thank you for allowing me to be on your platform. You had a whole situation built up before we ever even connected. Somebody plugged me with the situation. And my thing is, let's plug all the situations. Let's always be able to reach out and touch somebody in different parts of the country and all of that. In fact, international hype, not just a hashtag. It's a way of life. Let the audience know where you're coming in from. <laughs> coming from the A-Town, man, Atlanta. Representing that dirty self. Copy that. We got a couple of Atlanta-centric questions we're going to get into later. Uh, Again, y'all, well we have relaunched the show. I apologized last week on the episode for the hiatus, but we had to switch things up. We had to get back in the lab and make things brand new for you again. So this is episode 125, and we are going to do you like this. What is on your bucket list for 2024? What's on, the, what's on your to-do list for 2024? We're going to go back and forth uh, style. You tell me, what, what is it that you feel like I got to accomplish next year? <laughs> That's funny, because you said, what do, we, what do we have to accomplish next year in 2024? And um, the funny part was, that was, number one was, completing something off my bucket list. I don't think you put bucket list in, the, in, in your question, but I do have something I need to complete on my bucket list. And what that is, is travel. We've been traveling, man. We travel... I'm going to say every month this year, we've been somewhere, you know, empty nesters, I have no kids at the house. So I've been somewhere every, every month this year, man, that's 12 different trips. Might be, it might even be a little more, maybe 14 trips or whatever for this year. Uh, so me and the wife just got up and went, man. So next year, um, to a destination that we've always wanted to go to, um, not Africa, because we're going to wait for my, my daughter to graduate. She got one more year. From, from college and uh i think next week we're probably gonna try to do hawaii i haven't done hawaii yet so that's probably gonna be one of the one of the items knocked off the bucket list and then uh some of those islands like the maldives and something like that one of those type of places man so i heard hawaii is a far ass flight i heard it was beautiful but that's that flight is uh that flight scares me off of hawaii i only, <laughs> like, direct, I only like direct flights i don't like layovers <laughs> yeah. So, so my thought process, my wife loves to get creative with it. We'll probably do something like fly to LA or San Francisco, spend a day or two out there, and then go out of there to Hawaii. So she likes to do right. double jointed flights. We did, we did um, Portugal this year, and we flew out of Boston, but we stayed about two or three days in Boston. It was my first time really as an adult chilling in Boston. You know what I mean? Went to Boston and then flew out from Boston to Portugal. You know what I mean? All right, so this is what I needed to know. What was your favorite trip, though, that y'all went on this year before we before we move on? I really like – this is a lot of places. I'm over here like, damn, it's like my head was <laughs> constipated over here. Like, damn, where so many places? Where? So I did love Portugal. But if we're going to go domestically, I'm going to say, damn, I like Seattle. And I also like uh, – of course, I love Vegas every time. Vegas to see Usher, man, is 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 insane. <laughs> why, you, why you had to bring that up? My wife, <laughs> to get, my wife kept talking about let's 
she wanted to see Usher as her favorite drone. Bro, my wife loved Usher. At first, I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, I'm going to go. But the crazy part of it is, and I'm an okay Usher fan. I wasn't necessarily a huge Usher fan, but it was one of the best concerts I've ever been to. This dude really put a show on. It was insane. It was insane. I've been to a lot of shows. It was an insane show. I don't oh, know. Okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Your ladies is going to appreciate it all day, every day. They always going to be like, oh, my God. Dang. We had Usher at a show. They made that's they shut down the whole joint because Usher was walking through. Like the nigga is standing there. Why do we gotta stop right now? Um, all right, my number one on the bucket uh for twenty four is How to Hustle Live Show. I'm trying to get the fourth How to Hustle Live Show off the ground. Okay. Uh, as I keep reiterating, um, the building that I was doing the live shows at the barn, the barn caught on fire. So we still need y'all to go to the barn's Instagram page. Hit the link in the bio and donate whatever you can. Donate to the, to the bar. Donate to the yes. bar. Yes. They showed me love, so I want to make sure that I can reciprocate that. Oh, um, oh, yeah. yeah, trying to find a home for the How to Hustle live show, the fourth show. Mm -hmm. um, maybe even the fifth, because I'll try to probably do like two shows a year. Uh, oh, yeah. But, you know, if you're listening to this and you know somebody has a venue, if you're in the city, you saying you let us know, we'll make something happen if we can. But trying to find a home for the fourth How to Hustle live show is was definitely on the list for 2024. Go Makes ahead. sense. Makes sense. All right. Uh, um, we, we're doing our second? Yes, we're sir. Second, the second item in 2024. My second item in 2024 is I want to create some financial clearance. Not what I mean by that is. So, and I've been studying, you know, I make pretty good money. Um, got some IT security jobs that I do. But my wife quit corporate America and started doing her own thing. We're doing some real estate. So we had flipped a couple homes, et cetera. But, uh, but you know, with, with that, you want to leverage, you leverage your, your income, but you also want to leverage and have the use of being able to leverage debt. You know what I mean? And people say, that's not a bad thing, leveraging debt. I ain't saying just go out and buy something stupid that you can't pay off, but I mean leveraging your debt as far as, you know, something in real estate or whatever that makes sense. So I really want to clear up credit card debt or anything that I have that's tied in so that I can solely base it on if I'm a used credit card debt or something that I use it, pay it off, use it, pay it off. And as far as uh, the usage of the credit card that will go into the business like the real estate, et cetera, or something to build the business, you know what I mean? Or you, you know, we use it, we use, we use uh credit cards for all the reward stuff all the time. So we're not really using um, bank accounts and debit cards. Everything's credit paid off. Credit paid off. So that's that's kind of what what our goal credit is. Credit paid off is the best joint. When I first started using like credit cards, it was like if I didn't have the twenty five dollars that I was about to spend thirty dollars, I'm not even using it. Yeah. I would pay off the whole balance. I ain't try to give you nickel and dime you to death. It would be like, yeah. all right, we we're gonna go to the gas station. We are gonna go to McDonald's. It's like we are gonna put this thirty dollars on here. Yeah, we gonna Damn. send them. <laughs> that makes sense, bro. That makes sense. And it's good. I think you, you're starting to see, I know one of my cars, American Express, you're starting to see where they're kind of breaking it down in a cool way where they'll have the specific stuff that you bought and then they'll say, pay it off. Like it'll have the item and it says, pay it off. You know what I mean? So it has little areas where you can pay specific things. You know what I mean? I see. All right. So now this is a behind the scenes situation. Um <laughs> I had two American Express. I had the gold card, though, which was the you can buy the Eagles as long as you got our money in 30 days. <laughs> so once I had that card, it was like, all right, well, I'm already kind of used to this situation. But like, yeah, that joint was uh, you buy whatever you want. Long as when the 30 days hit, you got this break. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, that's dope, though. My number two on my list would be sponsorships, uh, oh, consistent yeah. sponsorships. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Makes you gotta sense. have that because this thing is all about monetization. Gotta, this gotta pay this thing, bro. We've been everybody, doing it for so long, man. I tell people all the time, like everybody got a podcast, but I have like a real situation, like well, this is a situation that we're making money off of, or it's something that we're trying to make money off. Of. Mm -hmm. Like here and there, being able to have something extra come in that you wasn't counting on is always a plus. So if we can get some consistent sponsorships for the How to Hustle podcast, all of the live shows have sponsors, um, but we need we need episode to episode, you know, what I'm saying consistent yeah. gains. Uh, shouts out to my man, uh, 
damn, what was his drawing? I don't remember it, so I ain't even gonna throw it out there. I don't wanna half do him like that. I remember he told me though, like, no, I get my drawings at the beginning of the year. They cut me the check in January, and I go see him next January, where the price is probably gonna be higher. So that's that's, 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 that's the world, bro. Them. That's the world. And the crazy part is I've been exposed to so my son is a YouTube creative. Um, and he started because he's around about three or four guys who are YouTube creators. Like it was one of his guys, uh, a guy named Quan, is on YouTube. And he started, I think, about 19. My son probably was 20, 21 when he got in. But Quan was 19 doing it. But I'm talking about a life. I'm, you know, man, you have doing our day to day and still doing this, you know, kind of side. These dudes ain't doing nothing but that. They don't have no job. It's like it's paying. They're three to four thousand dollar month rent. So yeah, I will tell you this. When I was 14, I get like my first computer, and my mom told me then, like, you should do like a, a web series. Basically, what she was telling me is you should do a podcast. Yeah. But at that time it was like you didn't know what a podcast was. It was like, yeah, well, how do you do that? Because she was saying like a web show type of thing. And it was like, had you jumped on it back then, you could be Bill Simmons now. But yeah, yeah. it wasn't the same as it was for like now. You said they nineteen twenty. They're coming up in the era where all of this stuff is in their face. Exactly. This is like before all of that happens. So yeah. like yeah, if I'm if I revert myself to like the nineteen twenty, I don't have no wife, I don't have no kids. I can afford to take that risk because then ultimately, you, if it don't work, you can still get a job and go yeah. just work. Yeah. But. Once you get to a certain age, stage, responsibilities, kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, and wife, husband, or whatever you got, like now you have to have something kind of something. Make sure that you can take that you can take care of it. But if you ain't got nothing, then hey, by all means, kids, you're getting out of school, okay? And you feel like you're gonna be the best skateboarder on TikTok, then give it a couple of months or a year and see if that's gonna make something for you. Because exactly. the crazy part about the world these days is that shit might work. Because <laughs> because. And weighed in on that. Think about it. We came up, of course, we had other things. We had TV and all that. Stuff. You know, we had other areas. They ain't even watching TV. They just watching straight YouTube and and other yeah. social media. That's their. That is their TV. So my son goes out in public, and it made me trip out when I saw it. It's like, hey man, it's Kyle. You know, it's like he's got followers of people who know him in the street. Or oh, I saw you over here. I saw you getting gas. I saw oh, so, so he it's. It's a fear in his head, like, damn, people were looking at me, and I don't even know they're looking at me. You know what I mean? Like, it can run up on me at any point, you know? So he's I mean, running. Well, yeah, you, you definitely got to always be head on a swivel no matter what your yes. situation is. But, yes, the first time that you – the first couple of times that you get recognized, it's like, hey, yeah, I do got that dream. <laughs> like, <laughs> right, right, like, right. I had a couple of those in my time. They're very good for the – boost yeah. the ego with them. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It does boost my – it happens to me a, a time, too. His, his is like take ours and go times three. It's like every time he's out now because, you know, the other guy, the Quan guy, they, their followers are like 15 to 25, you know what I mean? So they're younger, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. These younger folks, is they looking at them like they're they, – like that nigga's a TV star. But if you're 15, though, the dude who's 22, he's old. First of all, he's an old man in your head. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't fathom that he ain't really that even that old. Right. So, man, you old, old. We ain't in <laughs> Oh, yeah. You Me definitely. worse than you. Way worse than you. You, you know, definitely. You, young man. You, you run into a 15-year-old, you definitely unk these days. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> listen, listen. Boy called me that too all the time. Your brother be like, what up, <laughs> When he first said, I was like, damn. All right, I'm up now. So I was like, I just respond to it. Like, shit, you know, he, hey, what up? I'll be like, what up, nephew? Now I just hit him up. <laughs> um, My last one yeah. for 24. See, I'm really not the type of, I really hate people who like wait until like oh it's about to be new year so i'm gonna wait to try to change this about my life or this about my situation if you recognize that something's wrong why the hell are you gonna wait a month two three weeks to fix that situation get on it now right. um you know i kind of labeled it this just because it's just the, you know just the way things work these days but um get better at time management my time management situation because i got so much different shit going on uh just talking to my man about he asked me about what you're doing on monday and i'm like i gotta check the schedule because now the schedule might have just any damn thing in there. Yeah, we might we might be doing a cleaning. We might be have some clothes in or something to design. Like you got a billion things going on. 
time management. We gotta get better at time management. Uh, Hell yeah. Now, not even next year. We all the time. That we all, I mean, it's just it's just a thing. You gotta do that. Yeah. It, it's, it's you, that's if you recognize something is wrong in yourself, then you it's on you to fix it. It's not on you to say again. I'm gonna wait two, three, four weeks, a month, or eight months to try to alleviate that problem. Get on it now. That's true. Makes sense. Makes the answer. All right, now we are gonna go into another segment of the show. I think I have you, one more. And we got, you got one more. Go ahead. My bad. My bad. You got another one. Go ahead. Throw that. Throw that. One at three. Out. We supposed to do three. So I got a third one. Yeah, I gave. I, that was my third. Okay, my third is um. Switching over, getting closer to transition out of corporate America into whatever we do. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever it is, it's just your passion, just your hustle. I'm in the land of hustle. You know what I mean? And um, I want to, because I'm imparting so much of myself into making somebody else rich and somebody else's goal and somebody else's success. And I want to transition and get closer to where I was doing that on my on my own. I want to prioritize my own shit, yeah. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so that's that's you know, that's what it is, you know what I mean? Copy that. Now the next segment of the show is getting to know you, which mm -hmm. is sponsored by Custom Hustle. Custom those Hustle. Are CH, these are the CH3s right here. Those are available in any color, however you need them done, we can make them happen. Uh, um these ones only say hype because they're mine. Yours won't say hype because you're not hype. Unless you just, you know, that much, you just fuck with me that heavy that you want my name on the snakes. We can do that. Um, we do custom jerseys, custom jackets, sweatsuits, T-shirts, a uh, couple different kinds of sweatsuits available in any color. We do the kids' sizes, the jackets, design them yourself. They're, only, they're one of one unless you buy three. The kids' jackets are available. The jerseys, football, basketball, baseball, hockey, soccer. We got the barber capes. We got the flip-flops and four versions of the snakes. Four versions of the snakes. The CH1s, 2s, 3s. And the fours are all are available in any color, however you like them colorized. Now, this is the get to know segment. Since you brought this up off mic situation, we was just talking. Mm -hmm. uh, this also ties into last week's episode. Shout out to Sipping with Sammy for coming on. Uh, talking about the differences in this this game that we're doing in the long form or the shorts. Which one are you going with? Would you would you prefer to do? Long form podcasting or the short clips that you could post. <laughs> it's a difference than what I prefer to do. I prefer to that's do why, that's why doing. the question that's <laughs> why the question was what is your what is your preference? Right. So I <laughs> just like you, I'm in the game, been doing podcasting eight years, might be nine. I don't even know what the number is right now. But um I used to do two hour show. Yeah, I used to do two hour show. I'm coming up on seven years. <laughs> drop the drop to an hour show, then drop the 30 minute show, you know what I mean? But it's like now I'm doing shorts, which is a 60 seconds, you know what I mean? Your YouTube short, your Instagram reels, Facebook reels, TikTok videos. And I hate it because it's like I don't, I can't get, and, and people are like, well, you can't get your point across in 60 seconds. And like, who the hell get a full thought process of you know, out in 60 seconds. You're just giving a little chop snippet. We're in a world where everything is what they call a snackable content. And I think it's a problem, man. It's, it's even the mindset. You know what I mean? You And think about it. If you do a, a, a video, you do a short, they're even rating how long a person watched that short. So you got a 60 second video and a person only watched eight seconds and moved on. <laughs> And they're like, okay, well, they ain't even paying attention to that video. We're not gonna keep showing this to nobody. You know what I mean? And, and so that's how they're looking at. It. Like, if they didn't watch the whole sixty, then they're not. The retention rate is not very good. The average watch time is not very good on this video. So they don't. Bullseye, you just you just hit it before I even got to say it. You just said, how can you even make the point in sixty seconds? How can you retain what the person is saying if it's only in sixty seconds? You had to rewind that and catch it again. How many times did you watch a TV show and the third time you watched it, it was like, oh, damn, I never even noticed this, 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 or this. Yes. All Those time. are the type of things that we are losing because we are so, we're not even microwave generation no more. <laughs> we <laughs> like. Even uh, faster than the microwave right now, right? Yeah, we like, the, we the air fry, I guess it's the air, air fry. fry the air fry generation. This is the air <laughs> fry generation because, like, you went from the oven to the microwave to the air fryer now because it's like, I guess 60 seconds, you can't really, you can make a decent point. But it might not catch everybody. It might go over certain people's heads. The conversation, some topics are good in 60-second intervals, and some are a three-minute or 20-minute conversation. 
Like it's just a pick and choose. It's a difference in there to me. That's why I would go yeah. with long form. But yeah. you know, when you're doing these, and if, if we're talking about what makes what do you prefer versus what makes the money, then you go with what makes the money versus what you prefer. Yep. Because you can still do you can still do what you prefer by also giving them what makes the money. Um, now next one what is your what's the thing you hate the most on the you know the task you have to do with your wife what thing is is like oh god she wants me to do what <laughs> they make trying to get me in trouble on here um she makes me laugh with uh so the wife does <laughs> you made me laugh with this shit because you don't watch one day um that's cool tell her we only accept five stars on how to hustle podcast with hype <laughs> she's like um we need to sit down and talk about the bills because she do the bills she's good with you know sitting down she got a little spreadsheet out she got okay we got this 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 coming in and we owe oh, this 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 and we've been doing it for a while but to me i'm like she's gonna pay it you know what i mean I'm like, we're gonna pay it. She, i don't care yeah all right cool but she's like she wants me to have visibility of what it is and the really the crazy part of I hate it. I hate the discussion. I'm she laughed because she's like, I'm yawning and she's talking to me like, Are you sleeping over there? I'm over there like uh-huh. <laughs> and she's like, Yeah, I'm gonna do this and do this. And it just becomes soothing, man. I think my attention span is insane or something now because I can't listen to okay, then we gotta pay this and then we should do this because this and this. I'm like, oh god, about to fall out. But that when she says, Okay, we need to sit down, I'm like. I'm thinking it's okay, five minute conversation. We're sitting down at the table, like with a, a organized, you know, my wife is a project manager. I think that's the problem. And, and so we you, sit at the table. You, you're definitely whole, in a long form situation and not a TikTok video. Yes, the presentation <laughs> sitting there with the whole spreadsheet. So I can see it. I'm like, I want her to just she tell me. a PowerPoint me. on you? She, yes, she wants me to look at the damn thing with her while we're on the screen. Like, okay, you're not looking. Like, why do I gotta look? Just tell me what it is. And yeah, you wanna pay it. Okay, cool. But it don't work that way. She wants me to know. She's like, listen, you need to know these things. And 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 the crazy part is she's right because that is a huge issue in marriage is finances. People don't know what's going on, what 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 direction you know people are going, what what's supposed to be done, what's going out, what's coming in. Uh, you know, like, damn, why is a car no 60 days behind? You know what I mean? That type of shit. You mad at your partner and y'all on the brink of you know what I mean, separation and divorce because there's no communication of what's really going on. So the beautiful it is key. thing, yeah. The beautiful thing about what you're saying is, and this is what you have what you need is to have somebody who I don't have to be there for the decision to be made because I know that I can trust their judgment. They're gonna handle it the right way. We ain't gonna look up and be like, why hasn't the mortgage been paid? Why are they towing my car? Why is there a boot? Yeah. Like knowing that you don't have to worry about those situations worry. is the beautiful spot. Now mm-hmm. you already know how to handle this, though. You don't need to keep telling me about how you handled it. Just yes. handle it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and like, like you know, there's certain ways people handle it different ways. I'm not even gonna judge people how they do it. You got some people got their whole separate thing. Okay, you pay this and you pay this. They kind of treat their situation like. Kind of like roommates, you're gonna pay this, and you're gonna pay this with your check. You're gonna pay this with your check. Yeah, we we not even we not we didn't we ain't even going there with them. <laughs> yeah, we ain't gonna go there. That but, becomes a whole that becomes a whole nother situation. I don't understand that, and I don't want to understand. Right, that. right. I say. And I say that's <laughs> that is one of the situations where that pot that is that where that issue comes in. It's like okay, you were supposed to handle that, and you didn't. What happened? So there it is. You know, if that person had that responsibility, they should have had the car note. But yet, you remember them going shopping. You know what I mean? And there now, the damn house note is about to be foreclosed. Like what the hell just happened? You know what I mean? That's when that happens. You know what I mean? And so I'm not like you said. That's a whole other topic. But all right, I got I two more of these for you. I gave you a year. You tell me. I was this age, and this is what I think of when I hear it. 1993. Bruh, that's sick, oh. the thought process that I just had. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm here in Atlanta, and everybody heard of Freaknik. For some reason, Freaknik came first thing in my head. Why? I don't know, man. But Freaknik was here between the 90s and 96, 97. But 93 became Freaknik, and it probably was an awesome year. And, you know, I was... Still in college, I graduated in '94, so '93 I was a junior oh, in college. Good then, and yeah, yeah, I was reckless and 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 and, and I need to tone for. Copy that. No, <laughs> nothing more needs to be said. We understand. <laughs> um, <laughs> last one, because this is one that I know you'll be into: grill or smoker. Which one are you going with? Grill or smoker? 
the grill or the smoker. Oh shit, bro! I'm over here about to throw the weed out here on you, bro. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Whole another area, my bad. <laughs> listen, listen. So I am a griller and a smoker. I have two. I have actually two channels. I got my talking channel and I got my cooking with KC channel on YouTube. Why do you think and... I bought this? Why do you think I bought this up? Oh, I was like, shit, that's all random. Okay, but, <laughs> but for me, um, I have a green egg that does both. So the green uh, egg. Ah, uh, wow. Well, well, we're not riding the fence. We're picking. We're picking one or the other. You right. smoking it or you grilling it? Which one are we going with? I prefer. I, I prefer hours? smoking. You prefer the smoke. Okay, yep. <laughs> I ain't copy that. Yeah, did a brisket <laughs> recently. Yep. yep, yep. All right, copy brisket. that now. This is the last segment of the show. This is how we close the show out. This is sponsored by H2H Cleaning. It's my cleaning company. Yes, we sir. Some plumbing, flooring, HVAC, cleanups, cleanouts, remodeling, power washing, a uh, little plumbing jobs. We're not having no septic tanks and anything like that. But you we got something in the house. This then, bro. I, you, you, you make it worth my while. We'll slide down today and we'll get you all the way situated. Um, now, uh, this is the last segment, though. What do we need to know? What do you got out there? What you want to tell us about? Like you just threw out the whole, I got the cooking channel. I got the X squad affiliates. Whatever it is that you think that we need to know, you talk to us. Okay. So, yeah, I'm uh, X squad radio online uh, mobile app as well as X squad radio.com. But right now, it's pretty, mu- pretty much music. We have a lot of the podcast content right now because I ain't doing shows. And we got one guy who's kind of kind of show, kind of music. Got a good blend. Another guy, straight DJ. So we're doing that right now. But um, we're intaking um, radio shows with music. I ain't got to worry about the license and all that type of stuff. We're just good with it. You know what I mean? So whatever you want to play, we there. Um, um, and I've been concentrating on my YouTube channels. Got two of them. Uh, Kicking it with KC Interviews, which is me. Uh, discussing certain topics and then the cooking it with kc channel which is like you said cooking and grilling and smoking so all those things that i like to do the kicking with kc show what i talk about is just like hype man we just we talk about whatever we feeling like talking about you know what i mean is that's that same type of thing you know what i mean uh social um commentary political commentary cultural stuff music sports i hit all of it you know what i mean I got one more now since you threw it out there. The music. We can get the music on the X Squad affiliates. How do we get people to submit the music to you to be played on the X Squad affiliates app? Okay. Uh, info at X Squad affiliates.com. Copy that. Uh, you dropped that for me. We will put that in the bio of the episode. That was episode 125. Appreciate you for coming on, bro. We yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are... Yes, sir. I am hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up.